friends, what kind of freedom in a budget? If you haven't been following for a while, you know that I have an Excel template that I use, that I've been using for years, and I absolutely love it. I love budgeting, and I'm gonna do a walkthrough of that template for you. So I'm gonna bring you on screen, show you step-by-step -step how to use it. I've gotten lots of questions of how to use the debt section, how to use the sinking fund, how do I formulate it, what do I do if I need to add more cells, take away, what do I do? I'm gonna break it all down for you. And if you wanna pick up this spreadsheet for yourself, I'll have it linked down below in the description in the pinned comment. It's available in Excel and then also Google Sheets. Here we are in Excel, and as I said, I do have this in Excel and then Google Sheets as well. Now, first thing I wanna point out is the two tabs here in the bottom. So there is a sample budget, which is locked, and then a blank budget. So the sample budget is just to give you an idea of what this budget would look like, how it's gonna work, all of that, and just give you ideas of if you're kind of stuck on something, what to go to, or you can always just refer back to this video here. So we have the month and year up here, the income, supplemental, which leads to side hustle, sinking fund transfer, regular cost debt, emergency funds, sinking funds, um, all of it broken down here into categories. So super detailed budget. I absolutely love this budget. I've worked so hard on perfecting it over the four or five years that I've been using it now. So it's pretty much exactly how I would ever want it. And I'm really excited for you guys. All right, so we're gonna go down to the bottom for blank budget. And if you want, you can right click this and rename it. So I'm going to name it November 2020. Then up top here, we're gonna change the month and year to November 2020. So it is all set up there. Now, when you get the budget, if you don't have anything in it, you're gonna see this as an error message, all the formulas. Now, all the formulas are pre-populated for you, but as you enter something, $300, whatever it may be, the formulas are all gonna fix themselves. So that is that. So you're gonna enter your income. Now you can put your name here, you can put your spouses, the different jobs that you have, any of that, just to, just to figure it all out. The budget section here, this is what you're gonna do before the month starts. So you're gonna be doing this part at the end of October to get ready for November. And this is all what you're projecting to, to bring in for income. Supplemental income, this is side hustles, or if you're selling something or have a side job, whatever that may be. Sinking fund transfer, we're gonna to get to this in a little bit. But if you're expecting anything there, I typically don't estimate anything for sinking fund transfer. Then for regular costs, now you can change any of these, um, but you're gonna do the same exact thing with projecting. So what your tithe, your rent, your electric, cell phone, internet, all of those. Debt, these, this is gonna be all of your minimum payments here. Emergency fund, if you're adding anything extra to your emergency fund to build it up, if you're in the process of building it up, or you can keep this here and just say, I have $1,000, I have $3,000, whatever it may be. Sinking funds, this is how much you'd be adding to sinking funds each month right here. So if you're adding $100 to car repairs, $50 to gifts, $100 to vacation, $100 to Christmas, medical, etc then it's gonna total it up here. So let's just here for easy math, we can do $1,000. We're just gonna do $1,000. I'm expecting $200 for that for side hustle. Singing fund transfer, we're gonna leave that blank. Tithe charity, we'll put um, $420 because it's 10%. Rent, we're gonna do, I don't know, $1,000 electric. 120, cell phone is $85, internet is 120. I'm just making these numbers up off the top of my head. $50 for gym, groceries, we'll say 300, eating out 100, pocket money 100, gas 150. So as you can see here, we're gonna want our total out to be the same as our total in, so debt. Now you can list the debts that you have. So say you have a credit card, say you have whatever it be. You can change the names here. So we'll just say that the minimum payments are $87, 100, car loan, um, 300, student loan, 320. And that's all the debts that I have. So then now you're gonna want, so I have 
just under a thousand dollars to put towards our car repair, sinking funds, all of that. So we're gonna put a hundred gifts, um, fifty vacations, a hundred Christmas, three hundred, and medical, a hundred. So now the remaining money we can actually put somewhere else. So for student loan or for debt, we can actually let's try two hundred. So two hundred, we have a little bit left. So we can actually do some math here. So let's see how much we have left. Minus this, 185. So we're gonna go 385 here. And there we go, so 4200, 4200. So this should equal this. This is a zero-based budget. So then we're gonna work the debt snowball here. Okay, so then as we get this, we can fill in our actual. So our actuals, you don't fill in until you've actually spent it or received it. So we just got our first paycheck and let's say it was 1,015, it was a little bit over. So we can see here that it was $15 over what we estimated, which is awesome. And then say this one was 9.97. So it was $3 under what we expected. So this is gonna tell you if you're over or under every category. Then as you pay different bills, um, you can see that those are right on target as well. Now, what's really cool about this as well is some of these cells will feed to each other. So let's look at side hustles. Okay, so what's awesome is this is they flee, flood to each other. So let's say on 11 one, 20, we did Rover because Rover is an awesome side hustle. And Rover we made 250. So here, as you can see the 250, it brings down to the bottom, it's gonna to total it for you. And then it's also gonna bring it over here to your income. So it automatically calculates it for you. Then, as you can see down here, there's these boxes, which are gonna help calculate for you as well. So you're not gonna enter your groceries of what you purchase here, you're gonna bring it down here. And then, so say 11, one, 2020, you go to Publix. And at Publix, you spent $87. Then on 11 7 20, you went to Aldi and you spent $79. So 166 is gonna total for you. Then as you can see here, it totals it for you. It does the math for you, which is awesome. So 134 right there, so you have $134 remaining. So same with eating out. So let's say on 11 3, we got pizza. And that was $22. So $22 here. Then factor up here, $22. And we have $78 remaining for the month. The same with pocket money, same with gas and everything. Okay, so say you wanted to add lines here. Say you wanted to add car insurance. What you can do is highlight the number, the 19, and then you're gonna right click and you go insert. So it's gonna insert one there. Now we can go car insurance and then for car insurance we're going to say that it's two hundred dollars now you would want to do this before you figure finalize it because now we're off here but just for sake of showing you how everything works it right there automatically did the formula okay so to do these formulas we're going to highlight them on top and then you see this little plus we're going to click that so it, and then see that little box we're gonna hover over until we see the plus, and then we can just drag it down, and it's gonna bring the formula down as well. So that is how you add a cell, and if you want to, you can add multiple. So now we have four rows highlighted. If we right click, do insert, it's gonna insert four rows. So we can do that just like that. And you can do that with any other category, any other section. So we're just gonna leave that because we don't need them. Same thing with here. So say we wanna add more rows to eating out. We're just gonna highlight, and then however many we highlight, whoops, however many we highlight, that's how many rows it's going to add. There we go. So we just added more to eating out, and then as you can see here, the formula stays the same as well, the 25. See, it adds it there. All right, so then, next section. Next section is debt. Okay, so for debt. So for debt, we have 385. So we're gonna do 385 for debt, and that brings us right on budget. So here you put the balance. So this is gonna be the total loan amount, 
If you want, you can also add the interest rates as well, just for your own knowledge. But for this one, we're using the debt snowball. Then, and it's gonna total up the debt here. So say you have $10,000 here. This debt is um, 15,000. This debt is 24,000. Student loans, we don't have any, we don't have a second car. So we can delete that. Then a student loan is, let's see, 35,000. So right now we have $84,000 of debt. We don't have, we only have one student loan, so we don't have these last three, so we can cancel this out. So here we have $84,000 worth of debt. Okay, sinking funds. Sinking funds are a lot of fun. So here you're gonna have the budget amount as well. This is gonna be how much you're gonna to add to it each month. Now, so then here's your actual. So after you add it here, you're gonna transfer that amount to your savings account. I recommend CIT Bank. It's a high yield savings account, so you can make money on your money. Then here is gonna be the total amount that you already have in that fund, and then how much you're gonna be adding to it. So we can see here that this is, let's add these here, so $100, $50, 100, 300, 100. Then we have here $2,000 for car repair, for gifts, we have 346. Then for vacation, we have 250 saved. Christmas, we have 500 or 400. Medical, we have 320. So there's the total there. Now, as you need sinking funds, that you can go here and you can write, I write what category. So I would write gifts. Then this is gonna be the purchase. So this would be Amazon for dad. And then here you can put the total. So this is going to be a total of $40. So it's gonna to total it up here. Then what I would do here is I would minus that. So the $40, minus this, so then it's gonna be 306. We minus the 40. Then the 40 is also going to go up top. So see the sinking fund transfer. So basically what it's gonna be doing is gonna be transferring it from your savings account to your checking account. So that one will go to 40. And then down here, we'll also put it in here because we wanna make sure that it's logged properly. So we can do here, so then we can do Amazon Dad. I just do SF or sinking fund, and then $40. So basically they're gonna be canceling each other out because it's from one to the other. So that's that. Then we need to make sure that we're bringing in the rest of our income. Oh, this should be a thousand. Oh, that's 10,000. Woo, that was a big bonus month. Oh, did it again. So then we can go here and do all of the others. 85, 200, 120, 50, and we're gonna plug in everything. I recommend it being in your budget every couple days. Um, debt, $100. Car loan, $300, 320. Now, let's say that this is the final budget, what I would do is put this 340 or 324 to my debt because it's a debt snowball. So I'm gonna do just on the side, 384 plus 324 is 708. So I'm putting an extra $324 towards this, which is awesome. Whoop. Is it 709? 09. There we go. Okay, so now our income remaining is zero dollars. So this budget is done. We cannot spend any more money. The only way that we could spend more money is if we made more side hustle money. So let's finalize it. So November, what we're gonna do is click on this, double click, and you're gonna go move or copy. Then you're gonna see this come up. What I do is go move to end and create a copy. So now it says November, 2020. So we're gonna do rename, and now we name this December 2020. So then, now this is a brand new month, so now we have to go and clear everything out. Now one thing to be careful about is you don't wanna clear out the formulas that are there. So anything that has this little arrow 
in the corner, that means it's a preset formula. So all these are preset formulas. So we can clear out all of these. We can clear contents. Then we can clear our side hustle and watch what happens to our side hustle over here when we do this. So we're gonna clear, clear contents. That's gonna make that clear. Same with sinking funds. So clear contents. Oops. zero dollars that's going to clear it here then you can go down here and clear all of your groceries eating out you want to make sure you don't include the bottom with the formula so you just want to do the lighter part of the chart clear it out we can clear out our sinking funds here whoops clear contents Clear out our debt, clear out our regular costs. What's left? Pocket money, $40. I forgot this one. Clear contents. All right, so we are at $0 here. So as you can see, we are ready. Oh, and change this up here to December 2020. So as you can see, we are ready for a brand new month. We are good to go and let's get it. I hope this video was helpful. Once again, I have this linked down below in the description box and pinned comment available in Excel and Google Sheets for you to download. It's an instant download, so you'll get it right away. And if you wanna learn more about the importance of multiple streams of income, how to build up your streams of income, check out this video here. And if you wanna learn my grocery shopping hacks, how to save money on groceries, check out this video here. <laughs>